This endangered African penguin was hit by a car and has fractured his beak. Without groundbreaking surgery to repair the damage, he'll never be able to survive in the wild. These are African penguins. As their name suggests, they're the only species of penguin native to the African continent, and they live in the cold waters of the coasts of South Africa and Namibia. These gregarious birds spend most of their time at sea, but they come to land to lay eggs and raise their young, which is where they come into contact with humans. And that's what happened to this penguin, who was unfortunate enough to be run over by a car in Cape Town. His beak is now severely disfigured, and if he isn't helped, he will not be able to survive in the wild. The help he needs is also 900 miles away from home. We had to go and fix a, fetch a penguin. So, after some cross-country travelling, the penguin arrives at the National Zoological Gardens in Pretoria. The Zoological Gardens has about 20 African penguins in its breeding programme and our patient will be kept in the company of his fellow penguins for the duration of his stay, which will help to minimise his stress. He'll also have to be hand-fed until his surgery, the only way he'll survive without the use of his beak. It's D-Day for the penguin. And first it's off to radiology for x-rays and a CT scan to assess the extent of the damage. He's in good hands though. Specialist vet Dr. Steenkamp is on the job. And he's an expert in bird beak prosthetics. All traces of infection and damaged tissue must be removed from the beak. Next, Dr. Steenkamp sutures the soft and oral tissue separately. Okay, now that I've closed the soft tissue inside the mouth as well as the skin on the outside, the beak has actually come into place very nicely. And now the next step is going to be to drill a few holes here and a few holes there, put wire in between to reinforce it, and then to cover all of this with acrylic, leaving it to heal, and then hopefully all of this will heal the two bones in there and in there will meet each other, will heal, and then he will have a normal beak again. The acrylic compound used to reconstruct a beak is the same as that used for making temporary bridges and crowns in human dentistry. What I've done is, first of all, planted some pins into the front portion as well as the back portion put some wire around there, that is just to stabilize it and to be the anchor for the acrylic that I've been placed over it. So the acrylic is actually going to be taking the strain. Dr. Steenkamp is not 100% certain that the bird's actual bone will grow back, but he has ensured that the tissues will certainly bond. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just smooth off everything, take off these wires and so on, and then I might just build a little bit more on the inside here for support. And then okay. I'm also going to shorten this lower beak just a touch because it's just, just not closing in it. Yeah. While not an entirely new procedure, this is the first time it's been performed on an African penguin. Then it's back to the zoo where the penguin will recover. So we're just going to keep a close eye on our our little penguin and watch that the others don't bother him or bully him for the next four to six weeks he'll be recovering here with us. He recovers and he can hopefully go back to Cape Town and be released again. <laughs>